have to control the situation. State of readiness, state of explosion. You explode. But before you can take control, you have to make sure this man is no longer a threat to you or your family. To another level. Professor David, I got another video for you today. Hey! Pay attention! Pay attention! Got another video. I know you're gonna like this one. It's important. Do you know the four things you need to do if you are in a mugging situation? I'm gonna ask you again. Do you know the four things you need to do if you are in a mugging situation? What is the first four things that come to your mind? Let me show you. Kenny, come on in. You're in a situation, the guy's mugging you. You're in a mugging situation. The guy's here asking you for your money, so you whatever the case may be, man. weapon, no weapon, whatever. Right here, when a stranger's in front of you, what is the first four things that come into your mind? In my book, I have what's called steps to take. First thing, number one, state of readiness. So you got to set yourself up, master your emotions, and you got to get ready. So he's asking you for whatever. Hey man, yo, man, yo, yo, I, let me see what I got. Yo, I wish I could help you calm down. Yo, dude, just let me see. And I really don't have much money. I just came from the store. Right there. Stay the readiness. You get ready. You don't get defensive because you don't want this thing to turn into a fight or you don't want this guy to just go off on you and you don't know what is going to set this person off. So number one is somehow, some way, without him knowing, we call it, you got to sell it. You have to get ready. Stay the readiness. Stay the readiness. So you get ready and you pay attention to your surroundings of who he's with or if he's with anybody. So now you're talking to him. Number two, when you decide, okay, this guy's going to hurt me. Number two, stay the readiness. You got to explode. You got to be like electricity. You got to be like a firecracker. It's sizzling, sizzling, sizzling. All of this, yo, man. Yo, man. yo, listen. I'll give you a dollar. Just calm down. Yo, they don't need to get on me, y'all. Calm down. I'll help you out. That's the sizzle. That's the sizzle on the firecracker. That's number two. Because now you're going to explode. When you explode on him, you have to make sure you don't want to do something like this. Yo, guys, he's talking. Yo, get here. Yo, back up, man. What do you want? to say? back up. Now he puts his hands up. Now it goes into a whole fighting situation. No, you don't want to explode and do something like this. Boom, punch him in the face. Now all that was was a punch in the face. Now the fight is on again. You don't want to get into that fighting thing again. Okay? So when you explode, you got to do something that you know he's not going to immediately come back at you. So you look at him in the face, attack the vision, move it, attack the throat, here, attack the groin, here, you're talking, drop that hand, come back up, shock in the groin again. You got to do something while you're talking to him that, listen, listen, dude, listen, I'm with my family, I'm with my wife, I'm you know, you're coming up on me, maybe another time. But da 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 yo, God, keep it cool. You see me, I got my family on, here. Man, you and while you got your too. family, you, you attack with the element of surprise while you're talking to him. You can, you can attack. You can say, look, man, I got my wife here. Look at your wife. He's looking at your wife. He sees you got wife and kids. You say, I got my wife here. And while you look at your wife, you attack him. Yo, you see, I got my wife here. You understand? You just attack him. You say, listen, I got my wife here. And when you attack, look, push, unbalance. Now, boom, break the man down. Guys, state of readiness. You got to explode. And then... Number three, when you explode, what do you do? What do you do when you explode? You can't just start going. You can't just start throwing punches. The worst thing you could do is throw an uppercut and the guy gets into it. Oh, you hit him in. So what? When you explode, what do you do? Have you practiced? We have a thing called your next five moves. You see, that's one thing. The next five moves is one thing. It's one thing. 
State of readiness, state of explosion. Now, I explode. What do I do? What do I do? I do my next five moves, or I do vision, breathing, or balance. What do I do? What do I do? I gotta know. Because now, number four is take control of the situation. If I don't do number three right, I will never get to number four. I have to control the situation. State of readiness, state of explosion. You explode. But before you can take control, you have to make sure this man is no longer a threat to you or your family. I just made a video with a guy who punched the dude, got into a fighting match, bam, 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 bam. He did not take control. He didn't finish. He didn't use the PhD. He didn't finish. He didn't take control of the situation. He just knocked the dude down. And next thing, we try to walk, try to flex up and flex. Guy got up and shot him. So now, when I use state of readiness, state of explosion, I got to use state of control. I got to be able to control it. So I use vision. I use breathing. I use balance. Now I come in. Now I'm in control. I don't want to choke him out. I don't want to stay here and choke him out because now I may get charged with a murder charge or I don't know what this guy's condition is because they say, oh, you choked him out today. So I use this as a matter of controlling and then I break him down as he sits down, turn him over. Now from here, as I push him on his head, here, and lock the arm in, now he can't move. He, I'm in control. If I turn it this way, I'm in control. Okay? I'm in control. Now I use a lock to control him. I put it down. I'm in control. State of readiness, state of explosion. I want to make sure I put him in a position where he's no longer a threat to me, where I am in control. So please remember the four steps. State of readiness, state of explosion. But before you can take control, you have to put that third one in there. See, state of readiness, state of explosion, state of control. Control is not number three. Control is number four. State of readiness, state of explosion. So you gotta get ready to attack, attack, attack. But when I attack, what do I do? I just told you, vision, breathing, balance, or use all of the next five moves or one of the next five moves. Me particularly, I use them all. All in one shot. That's the goal. Are you going to be able to put all of them on? No. But in your mind, I'm ready to go to 10 rounds like a professional fighter. I'm ready to put it all on. I just see what I got to work with. He might reach out to me, touch me, get here, down. I got to use chain to focus. Now I got to use shin to shin to groin. I don't know. I don't know. He may put his hands on me. Here, bam, here. Now finger, palm, hammer, elbow, knee, shin, kick. I don't know. I'm talking to him. He may just try to get up in my face. Yo, what's your know, what? Touch with the hands. Touch with the feet. Touch with the hands. Touch with the feet. Touch with the hands. I don't know. One of the next five moves. I don't know which one. But you need to understand the four things you got to bring into your mind automatically in a mugging situation. You just, okay, I got this. You don't freak out. It's only four things. It's only four things. I'm looking around. It's only four things. I got a state of readiness. Only four things. I'm getting ready to explode. I know I'm going to attack, 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 attack. How am I going to attack? Vision, breathing, balance, finger, pump, pump, down, knee, shin, kick. Okay, then what? Dave, take control of that situation. Make sure the guy can't hurt me or my family. And then I'm good. So I hope the video, once again, was, was 
useful to you. You see, the techniques are not my techniques. The techniques are your techniques. Whatever system you belong to, whatever discipline you train in. But those four things are the same. I don't care what discipline. You could be Taekwondo, Shotokan, Karate, Kung Fu, Jiu Jitsu, Capoeira. I don't care. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You still got to get ready. Stay the readiness. Then you still got to make it up into, make it okay in your mind. Okay, I got to go. Stay the ready. Stay the explosion. Can I explore to start doing my thing? A wrestler or a grappler don't grapple, just grapple to grapple. He's looking for something to do what? Submit the person. Right? Which is called control. So, no matter what discipline, the techniques are the, the techniques as far as the steps to take are the same. State of readiness, state of explosion. Explode, pick what you're gonna do, and then make sure after you do what you do. You are in control. Because if you do what you do and you're not in control, you effed it all up. Guys, please do us a favor, guys, right now and drop us a like. Right? Take control right now and smash the subscribe button, guys. And make sure you share this video with as many people as you know. Thank you very much. Peace. To another level. I am here to officially announce that we are starting our online training. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Professor David James. I studied with Professor Florendo Visitation. He's the grandmaster of the system. He passed away and gave the system to me. I made him a promise that I will get his information to everyone who wants his information. And with technology, I'm able to do that now. So for all you people who contact me, who wanted to trade with me directly, now is your time to do so. Because now we're getting started. I am teaching out of Professor V's book, Every single piece of information he gave me, I am giving you. And I'm holding nothing back. And I have information that people who train with him don't have. So if you want this system, if you like what we do, if you want our information, get on board. Because I promise you, I, it is a wealth of information. And I am giving everything up. I'm not holding anything back. So now's your time to get it. So let's go. To another level.